I'm Nick Simonight. I'm the manager of the Frog and Parrot on Division Street in Sheffield. Uh, the pub's been here for a wee while. Uh, 1736 is the trace, or the earliest trace of a licensee that we have on the site. I think the pub was called the Prince of Wales before the uh, before the 80s. Uh, quite a famous boozer, um, well respected in the heart of the city, and well respected nationally as well. We've picked up the uh, best barn on award along the way uh, on a national level. So uh, we are good. At, uh, at what we do, we're well respected in terms of practice and policy and uh, we have a significant number of customers through our doors on a weekly basis. The nighttime economy in Sheffield is vibrant. Um, I know we've had a recession but there are still bars opening, um, new bars as well, new pubs kind of coming along, along the way. But we uh, are certainly busy on Division Street, that's because we work together. Um, I know personally in regard as friends, all the licensees, managers and owners on this strip and we really pull together to make the place really buzzing and happy and safe. We do that on a wider basis with all the clubs in the city. Um, Sheffield's, Sheffield's well regarded, very well regarded, certainly for its live music and its club scene. We've you know, had some uh, famous clubs along the way and uh, a significant number of students come to the city because of the perceived quality of its nightlife. There's a significant number of people employed in the nighttime economy and we make a massive contribution to the Exchequer as well. Uh, remember that the products that we retail over the bar are significantly taxed before we even get them. So yeah, we're a very valuable part of, uh, of the Sheffield economy as a whole. The business improvement district that we're proposing in the city is something that's led by a group of businesses rather than being imposed by the local authority or central government. I think that's, uh, that's a, a great opportunity and has caught one or two of my peer group by surprise, you know, the fact that actually we can chip in a few quid together and decide between ourselves where we want to spend the cash and it's a significant number of uh, businesses that will be contributing and a significant amount of cash over the years. Yeah, we can certainly make a difference to Sheffield. We can make it more vibrant, we can make it busier, might even enter a little marketing uh, scheme, who knows? But certainly um, we will get the opportunity, as much as anything, to have a real voice in the city. A, not necessarily a pressure group type of voice, but you know we will have some financial clout and we can wield that financial clout in the right direction. It'd be great to see street cleaning late into the night, you know, rather than it being picked up early in the morning. Uh, it would be great to see city centre ambassadors working late into the night alongside the police and, and our own security staff. There's great opportunities that the Business Improvement District will bring. As much as anything, it will put Sheffield on the map and get people, give people a reason to come to the city. I'm looking forward to it.